I think I need to introduce the two characters that are sitting here right now because what we're going to be doing is putting together some sort of uh, early memories of life uh, experience. And uh, the person I'm going to be quizzing mostly is my father. And his full name, I love this, is Theodore Chauncey Owen. And um, I am Althea Lucille Owen Lovett. But for years and years and most of my life, I've always been known as Polly. So that will be probably the identification mark you'll hear from me. Now, uh, one of the things I remember talked about, maybe I need to get into the Kelsey, and you, I, maybe I do, but there was always that famous family fire. Well, not famous, but yes. to me it was. That, of course, is in the... But this occurred the, for your grandparents, not the for Hinkley you. fire. That mm -hmm. my grandfather, uh, the doctor, was, okay, I'm was in involved different. in that. I need to get you then over to your Kelsey grandparents. Mm-hmm. And All right, to kind well, of describe a little bit about what they looked like and maybe what some of their background was. Well, as I said in the very beginning, I think I got it said, I, I never knew uh, Grandma Kelsey very much. I have only the two or three uh, very vivid memories of her, which means, you see, here and just dating by, by moves meant that I was uh, four or five years old at the most. But she played that she was a very sensitive person, a very artistic person. She's the one, of course, who has the direct lineage back to uh, the Mayflower there. Oh, right, we have that right, uh, right. paper, which anybody interested can look at. And it's 10th, she was 10th in descent from William Bradford, I believe it was. Or is there the name, the Pope and the Prince names, weren't those from her yes, background? Pope and Prince. And uh, she, was a, she was a patrician oh. in, in every sense. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, that, that I have that mem I, I shouldn't say that I don't remember her physically because I something more than her hand coming up from the piano that I'm going to say in a minute. <laughs> but uh, she was a a very uh, a very impressive presence, and I suppose she must. Of course, she she had to admonish us sometimes and speak to us and all. But uh, we we certainly were somewhat in awe. I think I can say of her, and I have no particular, as I was going to say, I got ahead of myself there, that the one very vivid memory I have is that she played the piano, which she did very well, I understand, and played it a lot, and handed down, and insisted that both her daughters uh, learn the piano. She played piano and played it very, very poetically, and uh, when she was playing, she had a way of lifting her hands from the key. She'd strike a chord, and, you know, that way, which can look somewhat effective, wrist but it was action. her way of doing it. But as a kid... That impressed me, you know. In fact, I think I asked Mother once why she <laughs> why she lifted her hands after she did the keys. But uh, that's the one. Well, that's a rather practical question. It gains you nothing musically speaking. No, so it, it, very it smart does message. add to the <laughs> to the picture somewhat. But that was her. That is the type of being. My mother, uh, I can say, without uh, trying to be melodramatic about it, simply worshipped her mother. 